Let's make a beautiful wrought iron chasing hammer in under a minute. Last time we ground the hammer to shape, this time we're going to forge it. And because of that, we're going to get two hammers out of the same piece of material that we normally get one out of. Now we're going to use a handheld top swage to forge in the peen. A little bit of grinding, and then we can move on to milling in the slot. I chose to mill the slot instead of punching it so that the wrought iron doesn't split. I like to use a die grinder to create the hourglass shape that you need on the eye so that it fits properly to the handle. And now for the fun part, the hand chiseled engraving that we're going to put on the side of the hammer. I chose a double scroll mark. Now I'm not the best at this, but I am getting better with each project so I'm going to keep forcing myself to learn this new skill. The very last step is to add a handle and a wedge. I chose ivory for the wedge. I love these chasing hammer projects. Each one is individually challenging and I'm learning something with each one. If you want one, check out that Workshop shop.